Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup organization video. A few of you guys have asked me to share this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this cabinet right behind me here where I keep all of my makeup and how I keep it organized. I don't have a lot of makeup, um, but I do have it kind of set up in the way that I do it every morning. So it makes it really quick and easy for me to get ready. And I did a video a while back about vanity organization when I completely cleaned out this bathroom. I I think it was in my motivational Monday video so I'll leave a link to that above but I'm going to show you all the makeup I have and how I keep it organized so that I can get ready quickly in the morning without searching for things. Okay sorry it's a little echoey in here but here is our bathroom sink and right over here is the cabinet where I keep all of my makeup. So we have one, two, three, four shelves going up and the very top shelf I'm not going to take down. It's just soaps. That entire bin is just filled with different soaps. Those are soaps that were left over from my sister-in-law's bridal shower. So I have a bunch of them and that is what is on the top shelf. Then over here I have all of my eyeshadow palettes and eye makeup removers. And then on this shelf I have foundation, blush, and all of my brushes and lipstick pens, eye pencils, things like that. And then on this shelf is everything that I use prior to putting on makeup. So I have all of my eye lotions and face lotions and face masks are in the back. I'll just spin it so you can see. I don't really hardly ever use face masks, but some of them have been gifted to me. Here I have my finishing spray that I occasionally use, usually on like a Disney vacation when it's really humid. I'll put that on in the morning. And then I have a face lotion that has sunscreen and then my Too Faced hangover face lotion. I have a travel size as well of that. This is what I've been using recently. It's almost empty. It's the Yes coconut hydrate and restore this is the target brand and i've also been recently using the yes to cucumber soothing eye gel so that's just kind of what i'm using right now and then on the side here i've kind of gotten away from purchasing and wearing perfume but i do have some body sprays from victoria's secret and from bath and body that i use once in a great while so those are all stored along the side okay so let's get into the makeup so when I get ready in the morning, I'll just pull out my bins. Here is the first one. And in this little cup, I have my tweezers, a couple of different lipsticks, and then somewhere in here I have like concealer, a little thing of concealer. And then this is also where I keep my little foamy face applicator things. I know there's a better word for them, but <laughs> I can't remember what they're called, but those are in there as well. And then I have two different foundations. This one is a lighter one that I usually use more in the summer or when I need less coverage. And then I use the Sephora foundation. And here is brush cleaner. So this is just like the soap that I mix with water to clean my makeup brushes. And then this whole tray here is basically all bronzers and blushes. I do have a little sample Glam Glow here, which is a illuminating moisturizer so i'll use that once in a while but i just have that in there and then here's like a bronzer and then the rest are just blushes that i have all lined up and on the side here i just have a contour palette that i use sometimes by elf in the front this little pouch is just the sharpeners that I use for my eyeliner and lip liner pencil. So they get rather messy. So I just keep them in this little pouch, some fake eyelashes. These are actually from Halloween. <laughs> and I also keep a little tin of Q-tips because oftentimes I need to fix up my eye makeup and it's just convenient to have Q-tips right there, ready to go when I need them. And then this container here, this actually, is labeled eyes, lips, face, but I kind of have my own organization going on. So the front compartment is brow brushes, eyeliners, liquid liners, anything that I need to do basically my lashes and eyeliner stuff. And then in the middle compartment, I have all of my blush brushes. Actually, this should go in the front because this is for eyebrows, okay? And then back here are brushes that I use less often, such as contour brushes and blending brushes. I don't really use them every day, so I put those towards the back. So everything is very easily accessible. So when I 
get ready in the morning. I basically pull all the trays out. The next one is this one, it's my third tray, which I don't use every day because this is just my shadow palettes. And I like the way this came out the best because I can kind of flip through these almost like a file. So I have all of my naked palettes in the front and then I have my Too Faced Gingerbread palette, my Disney Princess one, the Tartlet in Bloom, and then the Urban Decay Naked palette. And those are all of my shadows. So I can very easily grab them and I just have this little cheat sheet that I received. This was from the Tartlet in Bloom. So I just keep that on the side and that is all of my makeup. So when I get ready in the morning, I just pull out these three trays and I can grab everything quickly and easily and get ready in no time. And in case you're interested, I did purchase these at the Dollar Tree a while back. I think it was around Easter time. So they were only a dollar, really cheap. I think I got this at Marshall's as well as this little Lazy Susan a long time ago. And I just love being able to spin this too and get to the things that I need to get to. So that has really come in handy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing how I organize all of my makeup. Again, I know it's not really a lot of makeup. I have seen some YouTube videos where people have these astronomical makeup collections. I just can't possibly use that much makeup in a lifetime. And as much as I like having different eyeshadow palettes, that's kind of my weakness. I love the eyeshadow palettes. They're so pretty and they always come out with new ones and some of the casing of them, just the casing like has me sold. <laughs> some of them are so beautiful. But other than that, I'm very basic, same mascara, same eyeliner forever. I've been using the same lipsticks for years and years. So the only thing I ever really change up are the eyeshadows and I do love how they're organized. So I hope that you guys found this helpful or entertaining in some way. I hope that you're all doing well and keeping organized. I know especially at this time a lot of people are getting their houses in order because we are stuck home for no one knows how long and I am personally trying to tackle little areas of my house every day just to get things organized back in order. I have nothing but time now, no excuses, so I'm going to slowly start easing my way into getting organized again. So I do hope that you enjoy these organizational videos. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.